Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I live in a suburb, so I enjoy watching many kinds of wildlife that come through in a backyard. So setting up a bird feeder is an easy way to attract more living wildlife into our yard. When we first move in, I hug the bird feeder to a simple hog shaped post. However, I soon discovered that the bird had a habit of scattering seeds, which accumulated under the feeder, killing the grass and making the ground look weedy from the seeds sprouting making a mess. In time, such a place also would not be healthy for the birds and wild animals that would be feeding off the ground. So for the first few years, we moved the bird feeder from one place to another to help alleviate this situation. Yes, we were stuck in a cycle. In order to break out this cycle, I decided to create a permanent foundation under the feeder to chop the seed and make cleanup easier. I started this project in 2018, make numerous changes to the design until I reached a formable solution. So this time I will show you the process. Loop a thread around the stake in the center of the bird feeding area and draw a circle with making spray paint 3 feet away from the stake. The video shows my first attempt in 2018. However, two years later, I found a better method. So if you only want to see the final implementation, please skip to the 2020 shoot. Bird feeder poles tended to tilt as we use them. So I buried the pipe, put the pole through it, and inserted a steel core stick into the pole, at least two feet into the ground to prevent it from tilting. After two years, I found no obvious wear on the tarp. However, some of the wooden edgings are cracked and already rotten. Furthermore, husks are getting into between the logs, making it difficult to clean. The drainage area has become weedy, didn't work as I expected, and it looks dirty. So I'm going to renew the edge, redo the drainage part, and replace the bird feeder pole that I have been using since 2010. I use a recycled rubber landscape edging around the feeding area. So I made the ground level in a circle to match the level as long. Of course I create a slight slope for the flow of water.
Adjust the rubber landscape edging to fit the knot and secure it with spikes. This is a seed catcher tray from Amazon I purchased in 2016. This tray is very effective in catching seed. 
thus feeding more birds and reducing ground mass. They are especially great for larger birds, like doves, who sit comfortably on the trays. Here we are, 2022. No obvious wear on the turf, but the turf that was attached around the pole and on top of the nails peeled off in one ear. So I replaced the one around the pole and needed to be replaced annually. The rubber landscape edging doesn't seem to have been damaged yet. And best of all, it's so much easier to clean. Just bloom the husks once a week and hose them off once a month and it's green. So far, I'm very happy with the result. So this time I share the process I went through to create a bird feeder zone. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See ya. Thank you.